All right. Hey, today I want to show you a feature that I found in Neuron Writer that really is this cool little hidden feature that I just saw for the first time the other night when I was looking through the interface. And I wanted to share it with uh, everybody that has Neuron Writer. Or if you're looking at Neuron Writer and need an SEO optimization tool, um, maybe this is a feature that will push you over the top to take advantage of uh, grabbing Neuron Writer at AppSumo on its lifetime deal. So the first thing that I want to do is tell you that this feature is to help you write a blog post. And it's a writing tool that's been added to the Neuron Writer mix of features. So since we're going to be writing an article, I'm here in Low Fruits. Low Fruits is the uh, keyword research tool that I use. And I recently uh, spun up some keywords off of the uh, keyword fly fishing. And so for this article, I'm going to pick this, how is fly fishing different from regular fishing? This is the article we're going to write within Neuron Writer. So I'll copy that. And now I'm going to go over to the Neuron Writer interface and start a new query. So I'll go ahead and this is what we're going to try and rank for is this long tail keyword. And I'm going to press start and it'll take a minute or so for uh, Neuron Writer to do its thing and get prepared to write this article. All right. You can see it was at 95% done and now it's completed. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this and start creating this article with Neuron Writer. So the very first thing that it does, it goes out, goes out to the SERPs, it grabs all the competition for this particular long tail keyword. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and go with uh, these selected articles. We're going to use these to try to rank against and optimize our uh, blog post for. So I click Next. All right, so now we're in the Neuron Writer interface. And so if you're not familiar with Neuron Writer, you'll see things like terms and article. These are all the basic and extended terms that we're going to want to have in our article in our blog post. And then terms in the headers. Here's the H1 terms, ones that are good to use to help with your ranking and your H2 terms. So here's the key thing. And this is the new feature that I found. So if you go to copy all visible terms to clipboard, note that it's right here at the bottom on the right hand side. So when you click on this, you see list of terms and then you see terms with suggested uses, usage. Uh, and then here's the new one that I recently saw, chat GPT prompt with suggested terms. So it's going to create this prompt for us uh, that we can just go over to chat GPT and use and actually write the article. So if we, suggest, if we keep, go ahead and click that, it copies it to the clipboard. Then we'll need to go over to ChatGPT. Now I'm using, you know, the free version of ChatGPT. If you have uh, the plus ChatGPT plus, you could actually write this article in uh, GPT-4 if you wanted to. But in this case, we're just going to use the free version. Uh, I just want you to see what you can do. If you just have Neuron Writer only, here's, here's something that Neuron Writer will help you do is create this sort of one-click blog post with this prompt. So if we go ahead and we put the prompt in, let's take a look and see what's in this prompt. I'll scroll back up to the top. So it says, write a 2,000 word blog post on the topic defined by, and then remember, there's a list of title terms and H1, and then start with a catchy H1 using keywords from the H1 terms. Secondly, prepare the article outline around 10 of the H2 subheaders. 
enriched with keywords from the H2 terms. Thirdly, for each H2 subheader, add two or three paragraphs with detailed explanation for specific subheader, and paragraphs must include terms from the terms list. So it's grabbing from title terms here, it's grabbing from H1 terms here, H2 terms, and then the paragraphs that it's going to write come from the basic and extended terms. So here's all the basic and extended terms that are part of the article uh, that would need to be in it for it to be fully SEO optimized. So there's quite a few. And not only does it say it, it, does it instruct it to use these terms, but it tells it tells the, the prompt tells it how many times to use the term. So in, you know, in, the, in this case, these are all one time. I believe if we go up to the top, you'll see you know use it one to two times. Use it use fly fisherman one to three times. So that's the prompt. So let's go ahead and run it. In the interest of time, I'm not going to just sit here and show you it running this prompt in real time. Uh, so as it's going through here, uh, I may shorten this section of the video. But as you can see, it's going through. It's writing this out. It's creating the article outline. So we're going to go ahead and let this run. If it stops, I'll show you what I do to uh, continue writing the article here. So we're almost at the end of the article. Notice that it stopped at this bullet point, choosing between fly fishing and regular fishing and stopped. So this is where I would type in continue prompt, and that should make it finish out the article. So that finishes the prompt. I did notice one thing. It did uh, repeat a couple of uh, different sections here. So what happened, and this happens with ChatGPT, just depends on what the loads are like on the servers and, and the length of the article you're trying to write. But the way that uh, this prompt was supposed to work is give a conclusion and then key takeaways. And you can note that it stopped right here, continue between fly fishing and regular fishing. So I asked it to continue the prompt. And it finished this bullet point, choosing between fly fishing and regular fishing ultimately depends on personal preferences, target species, etc. But then it went off again into bullet points, into a summary which was almost like the conclusion and the key takeaways. So this is gonna need some cleanup when we get it into Neuron Writer. But for now, let's just go ahead and copy this article. And then we're gonna go ahead and drop it into Neuron Writer and clean it up a little bit. Control C, drop it into Neuron Writer. So let's go ahead and get this cleaned up. Uh, the first thing that we're going to want to do is um, just get some of the headings put in as H2s, etc. So in the interest of time, what I'm going to go ahead and do is clean up this article, and then we'll come back and we'll look at the score that we get for SEO optimization purposes. All right, so I went in and I've cleaned up the article uh, that was created in ChatGPT from the Neuron Writer prompt. And I went through, as you can see, clean this up a little bit. And right out of the gate, you're looking at a score of a 46. The competitor's best is a 49. So here's my take on this. Uh, it's, it's a feature that's useful. Um, I think that the scores that I get out of other tools other than ChatGPT in this case and with this prompt, so for example, I use QualaWriter, my out-of-the-box scores are typically a little bit better than what you're seeing here. Uh, 
So, so here's the deal. You can see a lot of H2 terms haven't been used. And you can go through each one of your H2 headings, and you can see if you can make edits to these and make adjustments to these and bump your score up. Now, one thing that you can do if you have Neuron Writer and you've purchased three codes or more is you have access to the advanced AI writing tools. So what I would do to this article as it sits right now, besides reading it and fact checking it and make, make sure that it's not being repetitive in places, all the things that you would do to normally edit a blog post, is I would go down underneath of key takeaways and I would put in frequently asked questions. And I would go ahead and make this an H2. And I'll make, I'll bold it so it's the same as the other H2s. Then what I would do is underneath of that, uh, leave the cursor, I would go to the AI writing tools. As you can see here, there's an AI writing tools tab. Now again, I want to stress that this is something that you will have access to if you purchase Neuron Writer with three codes or more. So if you bought a single code or a double code, you don't have access to the advanced AI writing tools. So here's what I'm talking about. Um, single and double code purchases give you the standard tools. And if you wanted to, you also could create an FAQ. Uh, the issue with using this FAQ tool compared to the advanced AI writing FAQ tool is when you create your FAQ with the standard tool, you'll have to uh, put in a heading. You're going to have to look through what basic terms haven't been used, add those terms in here, um, and then it'll write an FAQ. If you have the advanced AI writing tools, so I go to the advanced tab. Now what it's going to do is create an FAQ with all the unused terms, which is really going to help boost the SEO score. I'm hoping that when I do this, it's going to boost the score uh, above uh, the competitor's best. So let's see what happens. So I'm going to use a neutral tone of voice under generation settings. I'm going to leave it uh, with creativity set as high, model set as the GPT-3.5 model. I could write it in GPT-4. Personally, I found that using the GPT-4 model, obviously it's going to use more word credits because it's more expensive for Neuron Writer to use. Hence, it uses extra credits um, from whatever you have available to you. And even the advanced AI writing tools do uh, actually uh, cost a few extra word credits that you don't, uh, aren't charged when you're using just the basic uh, tools. So uh, I'm going to leave it at chat G GPT 3.5 turbo for the model. Click right for me. It's going to generate this AI content. Uh, it usually takes under a minute to generate this. So here we go. So here's all the, this is the FAQ that it creates. And it creates it from all the unused basic and extended terms and unused H2 terms. And you notice your score now is a 53 and the competitor's best is a 59. So again, what you'd have to do You'd need to look at the content terms. You'd need to go through the H2 terms and look at all your H2 headings and just see if there's ways that you can embellish those headings with these H2 terms that you're seeing here. And then as you look at the content and you look at terms and articles, 
See, the basic terms are going to be the place where you're going to boost your score the most. So the, the key thing um, that I want to stress here is I would go through my content and I would make sure that I at least included these unused basic terms. If I did that, you typically will boost your score by at least a point for every basic term that you use. So you can see here there's one, two, three, four, five, six unused basic terms. If you use those, your score would be tied with the competitor's best of 59. So uh, to wrap this up, I just want to remind you, if you want to use ChatGPT to write your article, uh, you just have to start a new query like I did in this video. You would go here and grab the prompt and copy it into ChatGPT and off you go and just follow the steps that I showed you. So the last thing I want to do is for those of you that don't have Neuron Writer yet, or maybe you have Neuron Writer at a single code or a double code and you'd like it, access to the advanced AI writing tools, I strongly you know, suggest going in and grabbing Neuron Writer while it's still on the lifetime deal at AppSumo. Um, it's been on this lifetime deal now for probably about three months. Um, I was surprised to see it come back. Uh, it was uh, available last year. A lot of people took advantage of it then. Um, it's a great tool. And on a lifetime deal, it's even better. And so just so you get an idea of, of the breakdowns and what you get. So see the single codes, single code purchase and a double code purchase you get the standard AI templates. But if you go with a multiple code purchase, you're gonna get the standard and advanced templates. And the advanced templates give you access to the advanced AI writing tools. The advanced AI writing tools also uh, offer a one-click blog post option. And of course, um, the advanced tools allow you to write uh, content in GPT-4 in some of the various features in the tool. So just uh, as a point, point of note here, uh, I am a, an affiliate for AppSumo. So if you do purchase uh, Neuron Writer from AppSumo, I do receive a small commission. So I just wanted to uh, share that in the interest of full transparency. So I hope this has been a helpful video. I hope that little hidden feature will, will help you. I think if you're running out of word credits in your Neuron Writer account, you're getting toward the end, the end of the month, but you need to get a blog post out, I think that prompt is gonna be really useful uh, so you can uh, preserve uh, the word credits that you have in Neuron Writer. And if you found this helpful, please subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to leave something in the comment section. I'll try to answer your questions as, as soon as I see them. So thanks again for watching, and until next time, take care.